A bittersweet curtain call for a very special pairing in London last night. A 35-year-old Canadian violinist bid adieu to her somewhat older partner, a prized violin nearing 300 years old. Margaret Evans has the story. The violin and the virtuoso. If ever there were a love story between the two, then this is it. Four years ago, Yija Suzanne Howe was given the chance to choose a precious violin and to borrow it for a time. This is the one that spoke to her. A Guarneri made in 1735, once owned by the Austrian composer Fritz Kreisler. I felt a connection right from the beginning, and since then it's just been uh, an absolute pleasure and discovery of getting to know each other. A little like a wizard and a wand, she says, if you'll forgive the Harry Potter reference. It's the moment where you, it, you know, all the stars align and, and uh, violinist and violin become one. But it makes the farewell all the harder. Her adieu, a special recording of a Beethoven concerto with the London Symphony Orchestra. It is the same music her father played in China after the end of the Cultural Revolution, when Western music of any kind was banned. Alec Howe gave one of the first classical performances after those years of repression had ended. It was also the night Suzanne was born, the start of another love affair, if you like, between daughter and father, who taught her to play. So as you can see behind me, the musicians are starting to come into the room, take their places, they're tuning up, getting ready for that final bittersweet goodbye. How says this violin has helped her find her truest voice yet as an artist, a pairing that seems to have been fated, if only for a time. She knows it must find its way into the hands of another violinist, a chapter closing, but like a pure, pure melody, one that will linger. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.